Hey guys, um, so I figured I would do a makeup tutorial. Um, it's just gonna be a quick one just because um, I actually have plans. Um, I'm going on a picnic with my friend Sarah at her house with Griffin. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial. Um, this is my first one ever, so if it's a little off, it's my first one. Get over it. Mm -hmm. um, so this is my favorite way to apply my makeup. It's a e.l.f. Um, I think it's like a total face blending sponge or something. It's pink, obviously, angled to the point. Um, I always use it damp. Um, I just feel like it doesn't absorb as much makeup um, when you're using it damp um, and it blends better. Um, so I'm also trying out this today. I don't know if you can see. Zoom. So it's the Estee Lauder The Mattifier um, Shine Control Perfecting Primer and Finisher. Um, so I'm going to try this today. Um, I bought this yesterday at Ulta. Um, I figured I'd give it a try. I haven't tried this one, so uh, obviously it's not open. So I'm going to open that. You don't need a lot of primer. I'm just going to use about that much. I'm just going to put it all over your face. My face gets really red when I rub it. Um, so we're just going to let that dry for a second. I always do foundation first. Um, I'm not sure why. Some people do their eyeshadow first um, and then do their makeup second. Um, sometimes I don't do eyeshadow. So a lot of times I'll just do my makeup and then do shadow if I feel like doing shadow. And I don't really do a whole lot of like dark color um, on my shadow. So, um, and I always, um, one thing to make sure that you don't get any fallout when you're putting shadow on um after you're doing your uh foundation is tap off any excess um because a lot of powder shadows will um have a lot of fallout when you're getting the powder uh, sh eyeshadow onto your brush um and that's what will cause it to fall onto your cheekbones um so primer's done um so i'm gonna use this is my Dior Forever. Thank you, Hella, for getting me addicted to this. Because it's very expensive and I don't have the money for this all the time. This is kind of... I, we'll see how this works. Um, I've actually tanned quite a bit in the last few weeks. Um, and this is my winter color. Um, so we'll see how this works. So I always do three pumps on my hand first. Because I know I'm definitely going to need at least that much. And then just dip it in. And I just, yeah, this is going to be too light. Let me see if we can darken it up a little. I just get it all over. Get it up into your hairline too. You know, this is kind of a weird thing to do right now, but this is how I deal with stress. This makeup makes me feel better, makes me feel like I have shit together. <laughs> well, obviously, there's a lot of anger in society right now. Um, obviously, I've used it all. So I'm going to do a couple more pumps. Um, I've actually come to some realizations in my own personal life during this time 
we'll talk about those in another session because honestly it's still too fragile for me to talk about in person right now without crying so we're just gonna get our makeup blended out well make sure you don't have any harsh sponge lines it's really hard to tell in the mirror or in the camera I'm literally doing this with the camera viewfinder I still have a little bit left on my sponge on my hands. I'm just gonna blend it into the neck. Always blend your foundation into your neck. That way it's a seamless transition. I think that's good. Let me blow this one spot out a little bit. I can't tell if it's a harsh line or not. Okay, so we have our foundation. Um, one thing I forgot is my concealer. So hold on one second. All right, so this is my concealer. I use the NARS. This one is in vanilla. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Anyways, this is my concealer. My brush is kind of gross. Um, I just dip it in. So we're gonna take a beauty blender. We're just gonna blend that out. So basically what you want to do with concealer is you're kind of using it as a, a highlight, not with shimmer obviously, but you want to basically use it to train people's eyes to see the light in the middle of your face. This is just how I do my makeup. Obviously, makeup influencers are a lot better at this than I am. This is just how I do it. Okay, so now we have our concealer um, put on. We're gonna bake. Yes, I have to bake because I'm very oily. I'm gonna use Peach Perfect. I love this stuff. It works really well and it smells, oh, it smells so amazing. I don't really like peaches. It doesn't really smell like peaches at more. It smells like sweet fruit. That's all it smells like. So, 
And then we're going to move like a hot mess for a little bit. And the funny thing is, is like, it tastes good, <laughs> which is weird. Like I don't mind getting the powder in my mouth. It's nice and sweet. It's yummy. I'm just gonna take some of these spots. We just put concealer. Yeah, I look a hot mess now. See? Told you. Dust the chest off. Okay, so usually at this time, um, while I'm baking is when I'll do eyeshadow. My eyelash, my eyebrows are shitty today. I'm going to try something different. Um, I wanted to try this for a while. Um, I finally got a eyeshadow primer. Um... And I've wanted to try this one technique and I'll show you how to do it. I'll show you step by step. Um, so this is one of the shadow palettes I'm going to be using. It's just a Sephora shadow palette. It's really pretty colors. Very shimmery. Golds, pinks, browns. Love those colors. Uh, I love the shimmery golds. My favorite. Um, let me just grab a blending brush. So, grabbed a couple. So this is just one that I'm going to use. I got it out of a, um, it's the scone, if you can read that. Um, I got it out of a Ipsy box. Um, I am going to take, I think this light pink right here. I'm going to take that color. <laughs> And if you see, it has quite a bit of kickback, if you can tell. There's a lot of powder that comes off, and there's just a lot of powder there. Um, what I do is I take, and then we're just going to go into the crease area. We're just going to blend this color up into the upper brow bone. And then we're gonna do the other eye. Which top it off. Oh. You can tell I don't normally use eyeshadow primer because I forgot to put it on. You dumb dumb. So we're just blending this into the upper brow bone. And then I am going to take just a little bit of pink shimmer. This one up here, it's kind of shimmery. I'm gonna take some of that and just go above where I just did that and just kind of blend the shimmery stuff into the end. Just cause I'm gonna put some um, shimmery highlight up here after I get my brows done. Oops, and I just want to um, transition the shimmer. Plus, this is kind of helping the darker pink to blend out into the brow bone. Y'all don't mind my grays. Whew, quarantine. Thank God the hair salons are opening soon. So, here's going to be my trick. This is a trick that I've wanted to try for a while. 
So I'm going to do it with this color right here. It's kind of a peachy gold color. I love it. It's my favorite. Um, so I'm going to try this trick. I don't know how it's going to work well with the eyeshadow, or the eyeshadow primer that I've got. But. So I got just a travel sample size just to see how it is of the Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion. Um, it's a cute little tube. It has a little wand, which I've had, I've heard like really bad reviews about the wand. So what I'm going to do is on the back of my hand, I'm just going to put some of this primer just like that. And then I'm going to take our peach color here and I'm going to run my fingertip into it. So I'm going to pick up quite a bit of the shadow. And I'm going to mix it into the eyeshadow primer. Try it with the brush. It might deposit a little better. It's a little better, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I like that or it might just be the primer. Um, I'm not sure. Let's try it this way. So this color, I'm trying to go heavier on it just because I want it to stand out. Um, because it's a shimmery gold um, peachy color, I'm going to use some of this goldier color too. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so. I want that shimmer. That shimmer is perfect. Okay. Now, I don't know if I really like that technique. Kind of cakey. Um, so now, I'm going to go in with this color. It's going to be a little bright, just so you know. But. So this is where you really want to tap off that excess because we've already done our foundation and mind you the baking powder will actually help with this. So this is my color, tap off the excess, we're just going to go right into the corner here. Yeah. 
so funny thing like when i'm doing my makeup i can keep so like if i'm doing this one i can keep my right eye open when i'm doing my left side but when i'm doing my right side i can't keep my left eye open which is weird i know and it makes it very awkward because i have to kind of go by feeling but that's just how i have to do it That's the bright pink and then we're gonna take this brush again and we're gonna go back into the pink shimmer because I don't like these harsh lines from the bright pink and we're just gonna blend these harsh lines out again So I blend it back out. And you know, I feel like, sorry, I feel like that bright gold color is coming off and I don't like that. So I'm just going to touch that up. So that's my shadow. Um, so next, um, one more brush I need. Sorry. So this is just a big, chunky powder brush. I'm just going to sweep away the baking powder. Next, we're going to do contour. So I use Pacifica Contour Palette. They act This actually came in an Ipsy bag. I didn't get it. Um, a co-worker of mine, Melissa, gave it to me um, out of her Ipsy bag. And then I used hers up, like, completely all the way to the pan. Um, and then I had to order another one, and they don't have this color on the website. Um, so I ended up, I went on to... Poshmark and found this duo um, and ended up purchasing it for way more than it's worth. Um, but I love the color, so I guess it's it's worth it. Um, so this is the brush that I'm using. It is the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. Um, I love this for my contour because um, it's kind of stiff, so I can kind of um, put the placement where I want it, um, but it's still kind of fluffy, so it still blends it really well. Um, so I'm just going to put it into the pan and then tap it out and you're going to want to follow your cheekbone. Basically what you want to do is you want to create a shadow under your cheekbone. That way. It makes your cheekbones look higher. And just blend it. Oops. 
See how that just chiseled the shit out of my cheeks? Mm -hmm. Okay, so another place that you're going to want to put contour powder is along your hairline. Um, just because it, like obviously I have a big forehead, so it'll make it look a little smaller. So I'm going to start by putting it here along the top. Blend it into your hairline. Seriously, because you don't want to look like you got a tan and just didn't tan your hairline. Even though it's kind of hard to tell with my grays anyway. <laughs> and then you're going to bring it down. Into that cheek contour. Just make sure it's blended really well too. Obviously if you don't have a big forehead you don't have to do this step. But see how it just kind of helps bring the risen... The, the highlighted spots it just helps bring them out better and then another spot I like to do is like the sides of my nose um, I love my nose it's actually a family nose <laughs> and we call it the Borkski slope um, but I do like to chisel it out a little bit. Um, so what I do is I take the same brush and I kind of pinch in the middle so that it kind of creates almost like a fan brush. Um, and I just kind of dab it in, blow it off, and then I just go along the outer side of the nose. And then... other side and it just kind of makes it look a little skinnier Let's do a little underneath here and I like to do um, so we call it the Borg ski slope because it kind of <laughs> so I like to emphasize this little shadow right here So I'm just going to pinch it again and then just emphasize that little shadow. See if it just emphasizes it a little bit. There. Okay. Nose is done. Okay. So the other thing, actually, I'm shutting it up for dumb reasons. Um, I also like this blush in here. Um... So the colors in here, the rose, the blush is called Rose and the, um, it says, uh, Pacifica bronzed rose, rose and coconut infused blush and bronzer. Shades are wild rose and desert. So I'm going to do the wild rose. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of a shimmery blush, which I like because obviously in summertime. You want shimmer and i'm using the wrong brush i just dipped my bronzer brush into it so this brush i got out of a fab fit fun box obviously you can tell i love it because i use it um this is their blush brush and actually yeah i think it's a blush brush or it's a face brush um anyway so i'm just gonna dip it in pick it up tap it off and i'm just gonna sweep a little bit under my cheeks. Just to give them a little color. The only places I put blush. Do not put, place, put blushes on the other places. Okay. So. After blush, I do highlight. Uh, I am going to use, I got this out of, <laughs> actually, I didn't. Um, it was 
an option out of a FabFitFun box. Um, but it was either, it's it was something you picked from. Um, you either got one thing, I can't remember what the other thing was, and then you either got um, this palette or you got an eyeshadow palette. I got the eyeshadow palette. I was pissed because I really wanted this palette <laughs> for obvious reasons, and it smells really good. I'm a, I'm a huge fan for makeup products smelling really good. Um, but these, they smell like hot chocolate. I swear to God, it smells like hot chocolate. Um, so I'm going to use, it's pretty dirty. I am going to use this one up here for my highlight. It's called Lit. Um, I'm just going to just dab it in, kick off the excess. And then we're going to put our highlight on. I always put highlight just on the top of my cheekbones. Because like I said, you want to accent your cheekbones. So, I don't know if you can see. But it's... Things that make me laugh are my heroes right now. So I'm gonna put some on my nose. I'm gonna put a little here. And then like I said before, I'm gonna put some up here just to accentuate the brow bone. Because wow. We want those brow bones to be prominent, sister. Yes. So this is my highlight. And then so after highlight, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my brows, which I'm going to do these off camera because um, it's really hard to do for me. Um, I'm still learning. How to do these um i have been using and i've tried um the anastasia brow pomade i think it's too thin of a product um i like this one which is the maybelline tattoo studio um it also comes with a little spoolie with an angled brush on the end um i like this one because it's a harder brow pomade it doesn't get all over um, and I like the color. Um, I am using the color medium brown. Um, my eyebrows are really dark. Um, they don't look like it right now just because I've got foundation mixed in and stuff. But my eyebrows are really dark. Um, and my hair is really light. Like medium brown. Um, so I use medium brown just so that they match my regular um, hair. My actual hair. Um, so I'm going to pause this for a minute and I'm going to be right back. So these are my brows. <laughs> like I said, I'm still getting used to it. Um, I don't, I don't know if you can see, but I don't go, like my hair kind of extends out here farther. I don't go that far though, just because I want it to be a little more natural. Um, and then one brow is kind of a sharper arch. This one's kind of rounder. This one's kind of sharper. So I hate my brows anyways, <clears throat> but yeah. I still do them. Um, another thing that I'm gonna do, and this is really hard for me to do, um, especially on camera, but I'm gonna do my lashes. Um, I used recently, I um, invested in the Glamnetic magnetic lashes because I cannot do glue lashes. So this is what they look like. They're beautiful. Um, this one is VIP. Um, so this is the magnetic liner. So you just put it on like a liner. Um, let it dry for 80% dry. Um, sorry, I gotta shake it first. Um, and then once it's at least 80% dry, you can apply the lashes. Um, they say that you can cut them. Um, a lot of people and I have noticed that you can't really cut them. Um, just because of the way that the magnets are placed on the lashes. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, they fit my, my eyes pretty well. Um, so I'm actually going to do this off camera too, just because I have to like get in there. So I'm going to do this on camera or off camera and I'll be right back. Um, obviously my liner's on. Um, one thing about, I want to mention about this Glamnetic liner, um, or magnetic liner, um, is that like it, it dries, but it's still tacky. Um, so I would not recommend using this to do a wing, um, just because like if you get it too far into creases, it gets sticky, um, and it feels really weird sometimes. Um, and then, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to let this dry like 80% obviously, but while I'm letting this dry, I am going to do my mascara because, um, obviously I don't know if you can tell, but I have, um, I mean, obviously I have really long lashes, but, um, I have a lot of foundation on my lashes. Um, so I just want to darken them up. Um, and obviously I want to accentuate my real lashes too. Um, so I am using, uh, my aunt actually loves getting me Estee Lauder products. Um, and I love their Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so I am just going to do this off camera as well. Um, because I have to get close to the camera. So, or close to the mirror. So, um, you yeah, don't want to so see So we're that. back. Um, I have my mascara on. Um, like I said, I have really long lashes already. I know. It's a, such a pain in the ass. Um, but when I do my makeup, I like to do a more dramatic look. Because obviously, I'm trying to be fancy and well put together. Um, so I like to use lashes. Um, and like I said, I just barely started, sorry, um, I just recently started doing lashes. So I'm going to do these. Um, these are the VIPs and like I said, they're just, they're magnetic. So they just peel off. There's like a little magnetic strip holding them on. Let me see if I can get this off. And then you just peel them right off. And then I'm just going to reshape them a little because they're kind of straightened out where I'm peeling them off. So um, these are tapered. So obviously you can see one end is longer than the other. So obviously the longer lashes you're going to want to put on the outside. So I'm going to see if I can do this on camera. Not too bad. Let me just double check. So it was good. They did a great job. They do feel a little weird. Um, I don't know if y'all have actually worn lashes. Um, I honestly haven't. Because I can never, ever, ever get glue to work. Um, so I can't really compare them to regular lashes. Um... But they are a little heavy. They are a little awkward. Um, I can feel them when I blink. Like, I can feel them touch. That's why I got the tapered ones. Because the other ones that I got um, are not tapered. And I can feel them touching the inner corner of my eye when I blink. It's really weird. Um, so I'm just going to put my other lash on. I'm just gonna double check them but they look good so I'm just gonna double right, check so them. these are all of my lipsticks I have a lot of lipstick actually very little compared to a lot of the makeup influencers but it's still a lot of lipstick um a lot of times I try to stay with like the mauve neutrals um one brand that I really like and I really don't want to endorse them um, because like some of y'all know, um, I've had a really bad run in with this brand. Um, but it's the Mary Kay. 
Um, this is one of my favorites. As you can tell, it's one of my favorites. It's like a, almost like a, like peachy nude, um, which is a color that I love. Um, this one is called Naturally Buff. Um, so I think I'm just going to wear this today. Um, just because it also does really hydrate my lips too, which I really like. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to use that. Um, I might, looking at my makeup, hmm. maybe I'll just stick with this. Let me just stick with this. Um, actually, I think I might line my lips. Um, I have this Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. Um, this one is in the color... I don't know. doesn't say on the label. I don't know. Anyways, it's like a purpley, mauvey, nude color. Um, but the thing that I like about these, and I don't know if y'all know this, but the thing that I like about these um, is they have a built-in sharpener, which is awesome. Um, especially if they get a little dull um, from using them. Um, this one's not too bad, so I don't have to sharpen it, but I am going to show you how I line my lips. And then I just fill it in a little bit just because it's a super stay. So it's not going anywhere. So, um, a lot of people like to overline. I am kind of scared to. Just see, if you see like that white, you see like the white line um, over my lip. They like to color that in. I've never done that. I can't do it. Um, maybe if I had a thinner lip liner, I could. Um, but whatever. So then I'm going to take my... Yeah. I'm going to take that lipstick and I'm going to go over the top. Just rub them together. There you have it. It's my look, my makeup look. It's how I do my makeup. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll definitely do more of these in the future. It feels a little awkward talking to a camera, um, but I had fun. So, and you guys learned some makeup tricks. So, I mean, what's a hurt? So, all right. Thanks for watching. Bye.